What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, we are in the kitchen again. And today we are making some tuna fish. So, I have six small cans of tuna. And I'm going to add them in one by one. These tuna cans are like one serving size. So that's why I'm using six of them. That way, you know, you can have some tuna for today and a little bit left over. So I'm not sure if you all seen my last recipe video. I did some chicken salad, which um, in my opinion was a simple recipe. It was my mom's way of making her chicken salad. I decided to share that with you all. So after making that video, I realized I had some extra ingredients left over that goes into a tuna fish recipe so I decided to use that remaining ingredients to go inside of this dish today so I have all of the tuna in the bowl after that it's time to just assemble our tuna fish so I'm going to go in with some mayo and as you guys know, I don't measure. I just kind of eyeball it <laughs> and go with the flow. So if you're a tuna fish lover, this is a pretty simple recipe. A pretty simple recipe. So I've already added my mayo, my pickle relish. I'm gonna add in a little mustard. Some people like mustard, some people don't in theirs. Um, now I'm gonna add in my seasonings. This is some onion powder. And then I'm gonna go in with some um, paprika. My favorite nature seasoning. You're probably like, why do I use it all the time? It can go in everything. Then I'm gonna go in with a little parsley. Next, I have some eggs. I use six eggs and I have some onion left over. I normally don't put onion in my tuna fish, but I'm trying not to waste food and be useful with the things that I have. So. I put the remaining of an onion that I had. I'm going to add this into my bowl. I'm already noticing that I'm probably going to need more mayo. <laughs> and then I have a little dash of sugar that I'm going to add in. Now it's time to mix. I told y'all this was simple. Y'all see how how quick and easy that was. We just gonna stir everything up, get it all combined together. We'll give it a taste and then um, this is what you call tuna fish. Tuna fish is something we ate when I was a child pretty often. We had tuna fish sandwiches for the summertime. Brings back memories. We, we would always have some tuna fish sandwiches and we would eat some chips on the side. 
definitely bring back some memories from my childhood when I make tuna fish every time. So I'm going to taste it. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to need probably a little bit more mayo and a little bit more um, relish, but we'll see. Definitely got to do a little bit more work. <laughs> if you all ever made something and you're like, whoa, no ma'am. A little bit more work on this one. So, I'm going to go in with a little bit more relish, a little bit more mayo, and I'm going to season it a little bit more. I mean, no, why not? Put the rest of that down. Sugar, nature seasoning, and we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see what this do. Mr. Allen's gonna be excited to get some tuna fish. I hadn't made any of this in a while. It's been a while since I made some tuna fish. But it's a simple, simple dish to make. So, like I literally put this together in maybe 10 minutes. I'm going to get another fork. So I can taste it again. It should be good to go. Should be good to go this time. Let's see. I like to get a little piece of everything. Second time. Mm. Perfect. Second time to charm. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick tuna fish recipe, guys. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.